Hi, greetings and welcome to part 3. And this is going to be the last video in the series of the preamplifier design. So in the previous two videos, I covered the basics of the filters that we use in our amplifiers and also about designing the layout for these two circuits. So in this video, we will test these two circuits and I hope from the part 2, you are able to understand how a single supply works in case of this preamplifier boards. So first we'll test this dual supply low pass filter. Well, I don't have a good subwoofer. I will just use one of my woofers and next we'll test this single supply preamplifier board. So without wasting any further more time, let us get started with part 3. So the setup is ready in here. Signal gen output connected to the input of the preamplifier. Preamplifier output connected to this oscilloscope. Powering this preamplifier with this 12012 12 split supply. Now day by day I am really frustrated with this signal generator. It's having a really sick DC offset in it. You cannot control it. It's just there. And there are a lot of other flaws in this. So yeah, if you are starting out with something to test with amplifiers, I would really recommend some better signal generator. Not this definitely but anyways moving on so let us see at different frequencies how this is performing and it's really performing like a 24 db per octave filter or not so there is our signal output yellow line is the signal out blue line is the signal in from the signal generator so if i change the frequencies if i go down yeah it increases in amplitude you can see the peak to peak and also if i increase it will have cut off and then it starts gradually decreasing it. So it's acting as a low pass filter. So let us take some values to measure if it's really acting like a 24 dB per octave filter or not. So let us measure the amplitude at 300 Hertz. So I'll take this as 0 0.32 volts, 0 0.32 volts at 300 Hertz. Now we'll go one octave up that is at 600 Hertz. My oscilloscope really can't measure this low. So I will take this as 0 0.24, 0 0.02 volts or basically 24 millivolts. Okay, so what we got at 300 hertz was 0 0.32 volts. Or in order to simplify, let's make it 0 0.3 volts. And at 600 hertz, it was 0 0.2 volts approximately. So if we calculate it, 0 0.02 divided by 0 0.3 this gives us this log of this value so minus 1.17 that into 20 this gives us minus 23.52 which is very close to minus 24 dB per octave so it again proves that it works and it is a fourth order low pass filter and one more thing that I need to show you is, see, as I said, I will always design a band pass filter for all the preamplifiers that I make. And for this low pass filter, I don't want the very low frequencies to really hit the woofer. So as you see, it's at 17 Hertz and the peak to peak we are getting is close to 8 volts. If we decrease it, see, the peak to peak also decreases. So. It's acting like a high pass filter in here where it's attenuating everything after the cutoff. So I made all the connections again. So now the single supply preamplifier is ready for test. It's more or less the same setup. Signal gen out connected to the input of the preamplifier. Preamplifier out connected to this oscilloscope powering this with 15 volts. As you can see two wires only and I'm not going to take measurements for this to see if it's really working like a 24 dB per octave or not. It doesn't make sense. It's basically more or less the same design as this one. It will work just the same. And here is our signal out. So the yellow line is the signal out from the preamp. Blue line is a signal out from the signal generator. And if I increase the frequency, it hits the cutoff and it starts reducing. For this single supply, I have I made the cutoff a bit higher than the split supply one. I believe it was somewhere close to 300 hertz and that was somewhere close to 150 hertz. And yeah, it starts decreasing after the cutoff. And it starts increasing before the cutoff acting as a low pass filter. 
and again as I've shown for the split supply system once I go to very low frequencies it starts decreasing again and once I increase it it will increase the amplitude again so it's acting like a high pass filter in this range in the lower frequency range and acting as a low pass filter in the higher frequency range and together it makes a band pass filter again if you have questions watch the first video why I always design a band pass filter for this pre-amplified designs it gives you more control over the range of frequencies that you want to have in your system so now let's go into the best part that is testing and as I always say the microphones really don't do justice to the high frequencies and the very low frequencies so it will give you some idea how the base response is okay cool so i have made all the connections the input to the preamp is coming from this bluetooth output of this preamp is connected to this amplifier utc 2050 based amplifier powering this amp with 13013 13 from this transformer and connected to one of my woofers jbl woofer so one thing that i want to show you is say i made the volume full and there is literally no noise in this woofer even if I place this, there is no vibration in this. And this is why I will always use a band pass in case of low pass filter design or a high pass filter design because it gives you more control over the range of frequencies that you really want in your system. And if I play this, see it. And if I stop this, no noise, literally it's dead silent. So let us hear out some bass and I don't know how much the mic will capture it but let us see. Now let us hear the single supply preamp. So I connected this single supply low pass filter, powering it with 15 volts in here, same amplifier, same setup and again it's dead silent at full volume. Let us listen to some bass now. So I guess that would be all for this part 3 and the final part about designing this two subwoofer filters. If you have any questions, please do comment about those. I'll see you in the next video with some new topic and please do like, share and subscribe and also hit the bell icon so that whenever I'm uploading something you'll get notified about it. So then bye bye.